Hey buddy, it's Evicta. It's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. What a rally over this past weekend going into the new week here. We did hit 240 on the like street counter. Thank you all very much for making that possible. The TM Trainer Run, I decided to not do it on Sunday. I'm going to be pushing it to Friday, so uh, day after tomorrow. We'll be doing the TM Trainer Run here. I know that today is technically Wednesday, but I'm going to do a regular Eden Run today and then push Wacky Wednesday to a like streak Friday. I don't know. I was going to say Freaky Friday, but that doesn't even make any any sense there because it's it's going to be a it's going to be a crazy run. Let's just put it that way. So thank you all very much for making it possible. I'm this Friday is going to be it's going to be hype. Get prepared for it. Here's your artwork of the day. Really heavy metal artwork sent in here by Instances of Beans. Title thread was Realistic Lamb. And then, comma, uh, probably final piece of artwork since I'll be graduating soon. Congrats on graduating, Instance of Beans. Thank you for submitting so much art over the past, uh, well, past years here on the Invicta subreddit. And uh, this one's awesome. I really, really love the sort of the, the culmination of, uh, of the lamb here looking realistic and also real metal. Like, I just love it. Thank you very much. And everyone who uploaded that one. So, yeah. So, today's Wacky Wednesday is going to be a regular Eden run in lieu of Friday's Crazy Okay. <laughs> Friday's run. Uh, Romeo Zero, Juliet Hotel, T-Tad. We're starting off with uh, Holy Grail and also Death Certificate. Uh, yeah, that is pretty good. I do like that beat. Man, Death Certificate. Uh, I mean, what can you say for, about starting with this with this item? It gives you any item in the game that you want, literally any item. Even items that, like, you shouldn't be getting from the first floor. So, why am I not using it immediately? Well, right now, I think there there's a trend. There's a or even maybe a meta um, in Isaac right now where if you get that certificate, you just immediately pop it and go for rock bottom or something like that. I am going to wait for a little bit just to see what type of items we get so we can actually complement our run instead of not hurting it, but instead of doing something that isn't necessarily complementary to our current situation uh and that's just a very roundabout way of saying i'm waiting to see what we get so we can get some good synergies instead of like just willy-nilly taking something that may not give us any value at all the rock bottom of course will always give you value it just it's very dependent on whether or not you get items that are going to be more of a benefit than detriment or even have any sort of stat affected by rock bottom the last time we were in this spot, we took rock bottom and we ended up getting a run where we just we got very, very, very minimal benefit out of it. Um, that we might as well have taken PhD because the only thing that we really did was take was basically just take <clears throat> take pills and not have to worry about negative effects because our stats couldn't get lowered. That being said, I'm not saying that we're not not going to take rock bottom here. I'm just going to wait until we see exactly what we get, probably from the first the first devil deal that we get. Um, and then we'll go from there. So either way, this is getting used on floor two. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna wait. Just just one floor. We're gonna delay. We're gonna be smart about this. Of course, us having the Holy Grail gives us flying. It also gives us an extra HP container, which is very nice. Um, it doesn't have any effect on the Angel deal, but of course, early game flying is is just phenomenal for not only for your mobility, but also it gets you it gets you places where you normally shouldn't be going, uh, or at least normally can't go. So, you know, all in all, it just provides a very safe opener for this for this crazy Wednesday. This is this is a wacky Wednesday. So how it's going to work on Friday for Friday's TM train and run. I'm basically I'm going to be playing Isaac. Um, uh, somebody made a suggestion that we should turn off the we should turn off the um, experiment or not experimental um, external information mod for this for this run. And I also kind of agree with that uh, because TM trainer, you're not you're supposed to go and compare completely blind and that's exactly what i'm going to do so i'm going to disable the external information mod on friday we're going to play as isaac just so we have the d6 so in case we do get stuck with like with a a, a passive item that we can at least roll out or a, a active item we can at least roll out of it for hopefully to hopefully to get a passive item i can't believe we got hit there um our movement speed is is pretty bad so those are actually our tier like all of our stats except for damage and even then our damage is pretty doo-doo uh, for a start anyway at least the only thing that we have good going for us right now other than flying is our shot speed so go figure on that <clears throat> um <clears throat> but 
Um, how it's going to work is I'm going to be playing as regular old Isaac just so we have base stats to go off of. I'm going to have the D6 so we can re-roll out of any active items that we get with TM Trainer in hopes that, hopes that we get more passive items. And I'm going to disable the external information mod so I don't have any read on, like, you know, hey, which one should we be taking? Blah, 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 blah. So, and that, again, all of that's going to be happening on the YouTube save file. So, it's there, there's a lot at stake here. Um, we could just die instantly, and then that's just that. Or, you know, we just have a crazy epic run that we have to... We have to kind of kick and claw our way through or it's just going to be a wacky crazy like super overpowered run i mean you just you really don't know what tm trainer and that's the whole point of it i'm going to go back over here and bomb for the uh treasure map man we are moving super slow that it's bad movement speed combined with really not great damage which is what's kind of slowing us down um but obviously we have a huge opportunity here to make up for that with the uh, death certificate i am going to come back and get that half price soul heart literally no reason for us not to have that uh, before going into the next floor because we need a devil deal to to kind of boost our offense because our offense is yeah yeah by god by god i wish we had a bomb for for black pin here and it's it's just going to we're, we're going to see what happens so hopefully it doesn't go down as one of those times where tm trainer makes an example of why i don't take tm trainer and just shows ex just how extremely dangerous it is um, I recently lost a run last week, actually, um, where a TM trainer was just causing me to take damage, just randomly take damage. Okay. All right. We got you pinned. Somehow we got hit by the, what looked like the same shot twice there. This is, this is the most hits that pin has gotten on us in quite a while. So we're, we're happy for you, pin. And now it's time for you to die. Thanks. Blood clot. It's big blood. Nothing here. We don't have a tears rate high enough to uh, really facilitate banking on the extra damage that we get from every other shot. And we're going to take this soul hard just so we have a little bit of protection for the devil deal. And then next floor is when we pop death certificate and we'll see what we'll, we'll see what ends up opening up for us. So there's a sacrifice room here. It's interesting. Not interesting enough to really sway my opinion on what we're going to be doing with uh, Death Certificate. Right now, I have no plans on Death Certificate here. But anything and everything is up, is up for grabs currently. It really depends on what the game presents us to give us the best possible uh, choice for Death Certificate. Whether, whether we do need a huge tears up or we need... Something like, you know, rock bottom or or C section or anything. It's all it's all on the table currently. And going to last week's question of the episode. Um, it was just a it was obviously Valentine's Day and I was curious to see what everyone had planned for Valentine's Day. So I'm not gonna read the re responses. Some of them were, were personal, some of them were just were just kind of whatever. <laughs> People were just being silly about it. So uh, but my Valentine's Day was good. Cooked some, uh, cooked some steaks, you know, watched a movie. It was, it was a good, a good time. I know I will say that like, and I talked about this on stream over the weekend. Like I, I think I'm becoming a not filet mignon guy anymore. Like I used to love filet. It used to be my second favorite cut, but now it's like, I don't even think it cracks the top three. I really don't like bone, bone and ribeye has always been my number one cut of meat. Um, but the, I don't know the, the last couple of times that I've, I've either had filet whenever I go to a restaurant or I've made it myself. I just, I, there's something about it that I'm just not really digging. Like it's not enough marbling or it's just not enough, not enough flavor, like beefy flavor. And I make good steaks. Don't get me wrong. And I've had like high end restaurants, you know, in the, in the last, well, probably month and a half or so. Um, and I just, I just wasn't, I wasn't digging it. I was not down with it. So I think that like, I'm just becoming a not, filet guy and that was something i talked about on stream on in conjunction with also like the older i get i feel like the less of a of a burger guy i am too which is really really odd because i loved cheeseburgers back in the day but now it's just like i just i don't know i feel gross after i eat them you know and, and before you say well it's because you're not going to five guys or burger no 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 no, no. I, I don't even 
I don't even like Five Guys that much. It's overpriced, overrated garbage is what is what Five Guys is. If Five Guys was sold for half the price that it operates at, I would probably love it. But the fact that they can get away with charging like $25 for a cheeseburger meal is absurd to me. Because, I mean, like their burgers are good, but they ain't that good, dude. Now, I will say that their fries are definitely some of the best fries I've ever had in terms of fast food place or even like a fast casual place. I, didn't, I don't know what you would consider Five Guys, but it ain't fine dining. For 26 bucks, I mean, you can you can get a really solid like seafood platter or a good steak at a at a good restaurant, you know, and then leave a little bit of extra for tip. You know, paying that much for for a single cheeseburger and order of fries is, is ain't a drink is absurd to me. Um, yeah. So, but people, because because I'm in Texas, people also like, well, then how just eat just eat water burger? Nah, dude. Like Five Guys, like. Five Guys is kind of like is kind of mid. Whataburger is even more overrated. Trust me. Trust me. I've had Whataburger before and I'm not a huge fan of it. Okay, so the game is just is just waiting for us to pop death certificate to make something happen. Okay. Cuz when you see double deals like this, you just you just got to cringe because it's just like okay, that's what you were in for. Yeah, so we basically, we delayed death certificate for essentially no reason at all. I'd rather not get that key than, than be debated into grabbing seven seals. It's not going to happen. So we need tears and we need damage and we need movement speed. I'm going to fully explore the death certificate area because there's usually lots and lots and lots of good pickups that you can find. So what gives us tears and what gives us move speed and also gives us damage? Not, not a lot. Um, there is an item that would affect all of those things. Maybe not in a positive way, but possibly could eventually lead to something good i know what you're gonna say you're gonna think oh well capricorn that's that capricorn and smb super fan is about the only thing that could that could hit all those stats and while yeah that is true uh it's not what we're it's not what we're really looking for like i don't want to waste it's not a waste because obviously they're fantastic items but it's not in my opinion a smart use of such a a crazy opportunity for us to with a death certificate opening okay starting to starting to see the see the possible possible solutions here It's really, here, here's the thing. We're not taking rock bottom. Rock bottom has absolutely zero bearing on, on this run right now. And I don't think it's a wise choice. We need something that's more impactful. Something that is, is going to provide us with an immediate benefit. We, this isn't a, this is not a wait and see type of run. This is a all hands on deck sort of thing. Cause we are, we're not looking great right now type of run. Now, another item that I had in mind was Libra. But the thing is, Libra Libra only operates with whatever stats you give it, and right now we don't have much to give in general. I almost end up taking Holy Light, which would not have been a bad choice, except it didn't help us stats-wise. We aren't leaving here with something that isn't affecting our stats. Put it that way. Zoymoke is certainly an option, but our damage would would go in the in the crapper okay so that is that that is essentially all of the stats now there's one other play that I thought about when I saw it and I may end up doing this 
It's certainly risky. It's a gambit to take. Because it's not going to guarantee any sort of good payout for us. But I'm thinking wafer. Now, I know that that doesn't give us any stats, but it does give us the damage resistance that we need to play literally every single sacrifice room that we can that we can muster or play sanguine bond which we do not have obviously there's also the spin down die option but that's that's less appealing to me i like that let's go for it I like that idea. I like the idea that we're not taking the easy way out and getting Sacred Heart, Brimstone, Bomb's Knife, Ipecac, something like that. Let's build this run and hope that we get a little bit lucky. We're going to need to get lucky here, but we could also get very satisfied if we end up making this into a thing run. Starting off, we get dead doves, okay? Dead doves can give us two or three for, uh, for Seraphim. Also gives us Spectral Tears. And hopefully we end up finding the Filigree Feather. That would be amazing. So we come away with an Angel item. Not that Seraphim really matters, obviously, but it's so nice to have. We're going to leave with Crack the Skizzle as well, just because, I mean, come on. Come on. That is two active items that we did find in our item rooms, though. And we get PhD. Okay, I didn't know the PhD was in here, but I'm glad that we found it. Uh, health up's great. So is uh, full health because obviously we're we're gonna be going we're going deep for these uh, sack room plays now. Deep pockets. Deep pockets is probably worth it. So this is a this is a first for me. We're not uh, we're not looking at taking the taking the easy route, but let's let's make an example out of how strong sack rooms can really truly be. And then let's also point and laugh whenever the game completely makes fun of me and doesn't give us anything from a sacrifice sacrifice room. People, people are like, oh, you got to go water burger. No, 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 no. So you might be asking, what is your favorite burger place then? If you don't like... It's not that I don't like Five Guys. Five Guys is okay. It's just that they're overpriced. That's that's my main, my, ba my main point of contention with Five Guys is that they're just way overpriced for what they are, which is just a burger joint. Nothing more. That's it. My favorite all-time burger that I've ever had, and and this is this is just my own personal opinion... But honestly, the, my favorite burger is Fuddruckers. I've, I've always thought that Fud, Fuddruckers had the best burger meat and also had, like, some of the best fries I've ever had. And it really sucks because all the all the Fuddruckers are basically closed now. <laughs> of course. Same thing with Fazoli's. All the Fazoli's are closed. All my favorite spots. But clearly, I'm in the minority here when it comes to favorite fast food or fast casual restaurants because... All the ones that I like are closing, so clearly, clearly my opinion is is not of the of the majority. Fuddruckers is probably my favorite burger. I, I've always I've always loved how how good their their burgers are, and they're also not like thirty dollars. <laughs> Constitutes a room that's Invicta does not feel like doing. Need some good value here out of flying. We need to get a sack room, though. Might be wondering why am I not why am I not using crack the sky? It's because we just don't have to right now. Go back and reroll this trinket, and we get a sun card. Uh, sun card's actually better than the full health pill. Crack the sky, you just need to warm up a little bit. I get I got you. I, I get you. 
We have more keys than bombs, so going here, we get a third active item in our item room, which is starting to get kind of annoying now. We don't need to buy the uh, soul heart. <clears throat> it's very clear that there's not a sacrifice room on this floor, so that kind of sucks. Like I have, I have friends and family members who will go to like a steakhouse and order a burger, and that's wild to me. Like they'll go to like Longhorn or somewhere and be like, "Yeah, I'll have a burger," and it, it's understandable because obviously it's beef. But I'm like, man, you go to a steakhouse, you get a steak, right? Like that's that's just me. Like I don't go to a seafood restaurant and then like, oh man, like I could really go for like some tacos, nah. That ain't, that ain't me, Chief. Really. Watch Zoomer's Revenge. Okay. Another impactful item here that uh, the delay almost cost us to get hit, which would have driven me up the wall. Also count how many times Invicta forgets that he has PhD. So far, zero. A pill on the ground over there is a full health pill. I know the super secret room is off of this room here. Because it wasn't off the last room. Now, which wall? That was a total guess. I had no idea which wall it was going to be off of. We could definitely play uh, the temperance machine here because we have PhD, which is going to give us double payouts. And IV bag. IV bag's okay. It's not crack the sky, though. Oh, my God. Gosh, that was 15 cents we just got off of one tap. Light misplay there. You always want to wait for Fallen to split before using Crack the Sky. I'm just getting impatient because our damage is so garbage right now. We get Goathead. So here's the, this is another little intermediate trick for those of you out there who wonders. If you get Goathead from your boss for some reason and you didn't get a devil deal, you can actually walk out, walk back in, and one will open up for you. Now, it just so happened to be a devil deal here because we it's just 50-50. This could have been an angel deal, but either one of those items. I mean, I, I like little Abba Ding Dong, but not, not enough to guarantee a devil deal over an angel here. So in a way, this is kind of a wacky Wednesday in a way, because you know we're we're being we're being forced into a spot where we have PhD. Temperance is going to give us five pills, although I don't think it's I don't think they're a, they're actively affected by PhD. Okay, well they didn't do anything anyway, so results are inconclusive. Um. This is a more engaging type of run for me personally, because even though we're not knocking it out of the park and we're it's 20 minutes, we're on 4-4. Four, four, I like the idea that we've chosen to go a different route with Death Certificate. Oh God. These, these item rooms have been some of the worst I think I've seen in a long, long, long time. It's Steam Sale, which is good, but man, oh man, and alive, this is... rough I know I know there's gonna be some gonna be someone out there in the comments who's gonna be like oh you can't complain if you had a death certificate you had an opportunity to make it not bad well you know what I think that this is a more fun and engaging run type to watch rather than us just taking sacred heart yada 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 and then just monologuing for the rest like another 30 minutes you know this way we have an opportunity to build something out of nothing if the game allows us to, which right now the game is not playing nice. And yes, in hindsight, maybe taking something that would have affected our stats more directly would have been a better choice, but that's using too much hindsight. And a lot of a lot of the, a lot of the comment, not a lot, but a fair bit amount of the comments like to use hindsight and back up their arguments when they watch these videos. And you really shouldn't because you have to ask yourself, what would you have done in this scenario? 
here would you would you have taken this in this spot like you got to remember a lot of isaac in fact i'd say a hundred percent of isaac is situational right situational acquisitions of items which which way which direction are you going to go which upgrade are you going to choose etc cetera, etc cetera. all of that is is all highly done in the moment of things in isaac rather than being super predictable and being like you know, yeah okay so we're gonna get this item next and we're gonna get this item you know it's not like another roguelite like dead cells for example where you can make like you can make like a strength build or a dexterity build or something like that where you know you know what type of upgrades you're going to get right out the gate crack this guy hit everything but husk so crack the skizzle and, you know, not, you're, you're kind of underperforming here a little bit i think another devil deal which is fine i'm not a, i'm not opposed to taking devil deals here i just give me something good game again i i love sulfur don't get me wrong but if we get if we get if we get some way to actually get double charges on sulfur then it's worth it if not then it's just really nothing special So we pretty much have to go check over here because I want to see if there's a sack room. The whole reason why we got the wafer is because we wanted to play some sack rooms. Right now, the game is clearly aware of that, which is why it's not giving us a sack room now. In fact, the only room, the only floor that it gave us a sack room was the first floor that we had an opportunity to get the wafer. And that was before we actually took it. Because, like I said, this game knows exactly what we're trying to do. So its response to that is to simply not give us the thing that we need, therefore making it look like a bad decision and lending credence to all the hindsighters out there. Don't be a hindsighter. We can save the unicorn poop in case we do need a full charge or a full heal for some reason. Yeah, this damage is quite pathetic. I mean, even with Vibrant Ball, our damage is pathetic. So Sulfur does give us a damage up, a slight damage up, but it's negligible until we can until we can stack it on itself. Seek room would normally be south of here, but I'm almost 100% sure it's not, just based on the fact that there's no other wall lining the uh, the left side of its possible spot there. Yeah, people often ask me what are my most hated enemies, like common enemies. It's infamies. Infamy masks. Absolutely hate them. I hate mini strobes and I hate Q-Bones. AKA Bonies. And I also do not like Claudies, but... Man. PhD and Placebo is very interesting as well. It doesn't give us a pill when we, when we grab it. This gives us a range up, which we don't really want. I'm going to take Dreamcatcher as well. I'd be more on board for placebo if we had a tears up tears up pill in our in our pool, which right now we're not sure if we have one of those. Piercing shots gives us movement speed. Side of Terrace gives us piercing, piercing shot and movement speed, which is good. But once again, the game knows that we're going for sack rooms and has chosen to not give us one, so. Be pretty stoked about that. I guess technically speaking, I could have re-rolled the pill with the uh, game breaking bug. Got one bomb. An extra bomb out of that. How about that? And you know what? Even if this gambit doesn't doesn't end up paying off, this wafer from the death certificate. Gambit. 
I can at least hold my head up high and say, you know what? That would have been cool if it worked out. But obviously, I can't control what the game's going to give give us. I wish I could. It'd be a lot easier if I could. But I can't. And we are just left to RNG and the game listening to you and knowing exactly that what you want and then doing the exact opposite of that. Pentagram is going to give us a solid damage up, but we, we need more than that. Get rune bag here, which... And honestly, starting off with Goathead as well is real nice. Um, just a, I mean, just solid overall passive items for the few that we've actually gotten. Um, you know, starting off with Holy Grail, Death Certificate. I mean, that's that's a solid opener. Just the strategy that we are we've just we've chosen to employ is not um, not panned out well so far. Again, comes down to RNG, and it's unfortunately out of our control. Azazuma's is also a fantastic item for us here, too. But, you know, like I said, if the game just chooses to be a, a little B about it, then, you know, I can at least I can at least be proud that we, we chose a non-traditional route go with a with a death certificate opener he tried to make something cool happen leave it to isaac to make sure that that something cool doesn't happen because that's just how this game is a lot of the times not all the time but 99 percent of the time i would invested bill here take rune bag i always forget if rune bag actually gives you a rune or not and we know that we're not going to get a sacrifice room on this floor because the only other the only other diversion from the main path here is going to be the shop because it literally has to be the shop. So no we're 0 for 5 so far in sack rooms where the game could have given us something and we normally see a sacrifice room or two by now but the game listens to you etc etc etc. I'll know the score by now but in case you happen to be new here this game listens to you. It knows exactly what you're trying to do, and even if, even if you don't verbalize whatever that strategy is, the game can see the items that you take and adjust itself accordingly. If you think that that's BS, I, I've got a rock that keeps tigers away that I'd like to sell you. What is this? Another range up. Fantastic. Range up. Oh, how I wish to live in a naive world that thinks that this game is not designed to work against you at all times. Wake up, sheeple. Why oh, we kept traveling there. Game-breaking bug, you completely... You completely blocked that one. That one's on you. Couldn't see that knight for the life of me there. The item that's his fault, not me. Our last shop gives us a bunch of, well, essentially nothing. We get B, we get BFF, which is fine, but doesn't really affect much except Peeper here. And Spider Mod, I guess. Wish Game Breaking Bug it would get like some kind of extra benefit from it. It would be cool. Gosh, it's the Tenant Rock. This might be the first Tenant Rock we've seen in this entire run. Okay. All right. See what you're doing, game. Well, if anything, let this be a lesson to you, kids. Don't try to don't try to make for a fun time, Isaac. Not gonna happen. Just stay stay with the meta. Do the use. Take Sacred Heart. 
Take C-section. Take mom's knife. And enjoy a free win. That's what that's what this run is trying to tell you. That's the lesson of today's run. That's what we need to start doing. We, instead of the question of the day, we need to start doing a lesson of the day. Isaac lesson of the day. Today's lesson, don't try to have fun. Don't try to go for something different. Stick with the meta. Because that's all the game is going to expect you to do. Of course, I'm being somewhat facetious here. Maybe like 47% facetiousness. It's run, this run's cooked. Yeah, it's cooked. Well, we tried. Lost. I think that was Teratoma. I'm not sure. It's weird because it kind of looked like Great Gideon, and I know that that's not possible. Harassing low amount of damage that we've got here. No tears ups at all. One damage up. I don't. I, I do not include blood clot as a damage up, by the way. Blood got blood clot had a had a golden opportunity to shine here, and uh, and just it, it would it never got a chance. This is this is a run that never got a chance to shine because of RNG. We had a higher tears rate. Blood clot really could have really could have made a good impression on people. Grim's not aggravating at all. Grim is uh look at look at Peep Peep's eye up there doing stuff. Doing stuff with things. And says full mapping is very good for floors that we can actually see what's going on. Thank God, it's a sacrifice room. My God. Is the game gonna play nice or is it going is it just gonna give us coins and then that's it? Place your bets now. I think it would be cool if there was an item that forced a sacrifice room on every floor. And before you say that's not possible, uh fragmented card would like to have to have a word with you. There are absolutely items that can force things to spawn on a map. Look at look at Crown of Light, or look at uh, look at Devil's Crown, or or the the Silver Dollar. Okay, so we get a Blood of the Martyr here, which is a very good damage upgrade for us. But we need we still need more. We need more. Yeah, we got twenty bomb. That'd be, that'd be stingy on the bombs. Your destiny, I mean, it's an item. Excuse me? Yep, saw that one coming. Nine tails again, excellent, excellent item for us. Things are improving, but we really need a tears up. I'm going to use the answers room now just to save us some time and hassle of looking for a sack room. Play this demon judgment down to Polaroid invincibility, which would be smart, especially with us having the wafer. Just two pills. 
for a heart here. On beggar. Okay. When I said heart, I mean like a red heart. You don't understand. I need a red heart. Okay, well, there's all of our bombs. Good reason to know why you should never play bomb beggars. <laughs> Guess game breaking bug could go re-roll the uh roll stuff in there. What are you error room? Error's not really gonna do much for us. Potentially, of course, it could, but we didn't, we already know it. The game made it clear a long time ago what type of what type of run it was going to be. It's almost as if the game said, "Well, if you're not going to take the opportunity I'm giving you, then I'm just not going to give you any opportunity," because we chose to go a different route for the death certificate. Looking for any heart here would do. Any heart at all. Now that was a satisfying conga line. You gotta you gotta admit there. Soul Maggie, I mean Soul Maggie fine. But I'm not coming back in to grab it. Deeper. You know what? No. Yeah. Game breaking bug. Shout out the game breaking bug. Hearts are what are all that we really want or need here. You know there's not a sacrifice room on this floor, so that room i think that that dream is is categorically dead now but like i said even if it didn't pan out at least we tried right another range up he bizzle I leave li leave as I live and breathe. Um, yeah, I would love to have mapping on the next floor of the cathedral, but I think we've seen enough. I think we've seen enough on this run to know that, fortunately, we are. It's the gambit didn't pay off, and that's why it was a gambit. I was hoping it was going to, but Isaac had other plans. The wafer, you could definitely make a solid case, though, for the wafer being a a first ballot. I want to think of it that way. First ballot take in death certificate. If you already have a pretty good build going for you, then having double the amount of health available to you at the at the start of a at the start of a uh, of a run is really, really, really solid. Kind of sad that we didn't get any anything that could have benefited uh, Sulfur in a way either. Alright, D-Bizzle. have the movement speed to really use black powder here either unfortunately buffer fire off there soul cane uh sure 
Sure, we'll go ahead and take a damage upgrade. And there's not any clear, concise place for this. It could be off the vault. Could be off of boss trap room. This would at least get us into the boss trap room. I think is worthwhile. But this means that we have to clear this big room here, which I wasn't really feeling like doing. But it does open up four red doors for us. Might be some good value there. I mean, that is good value. We're going to start by going into the boss trap room. Oh my gosh, is that a... Do my eyes deceive me? Is that a bona fide, genuine tears up I see? I didn't know that they existed in this game anymore. My god. And look at this machine gun of damage we've got now. We're invincible at this point. Okay, so it was not, unfortunately, it could have been here, but unfortunately it was not. I do, love, I do love me some shoot. Hey, there we go. There's our ultra secret. I will say really quickly because because uh, someone was coming after me in the comments as as it's the norm about not knowing how ultra secret rooms work, despite me knowing how they work. Uh, he was very, very adamant in telling me that you, someone please tell us, Invicta, the only way that an ultra secret room can spawn is being diagonal from a special room. And uh, I said, no, that's not true at all. The ultra secret room can spawn anywhere that is adjacent to, that is two rooms adjacent to each other that's bridged by a gap of a red door. And uh, it always, it always really just tickles me in a way that is enjoyable that so many people in the Isaac community are so sure of themselves when it comes to like, this is the way it's happened. Someone, someone proved this stupid YouTuber wrong. And then like, they get like shot down and proven wrong and be like, oh, well, that's news to me, my bad, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, come on. Like the attitude that you were, that you were giving at the time <laughs> to go to go from being so sure of yourself to and, and arrogant to being just humble, be like, oh, I don't know what you're getting so worked up over. Come on, man. Be better than that. Just admit that you were wrong. That's all you got to do. Don't be a jerk. That's a that's a thing. It's like just don't be a jerk. You can be sure of yourself, sure, but if you're if you're categorically proven incorrect, don't be like, well, I don't know why you're coming after me. <laughs> Few comments, man. They are they are as entertaining as they've always been, whether good or bad. Luckily for us, we have we have an overwhelming majority of good commenters out there. We don't have we don't have that guy. Don't be that guy. If you are that guy, then learn to be better. You know, I may not know everything in this game, and I certainly don't possess some kind of crazy encyclopedic knowledge of all the inner workings of this silly game, but I do know a thing or two about it. I may be a bumbling idiot, but I'm a bumbling idiot that knows a lot about a game that I've got many, 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 many hours. And some people don't like hearing that. Some people are like, ah, just like, okay, we get it. You play the game a lot, but it's like, dude, if you, if you saw like some of the vitriol that comes after me in the comments for trying to, trying to correct me or, or explain to things, how the, how things are in this game when they very clearly are not like they're just flat out incorrect and wrong, you would probably get a little fired up about that too. 
But it's it's always infinitely funny to me when that guy gets proven wrong. You bizzle? I'm not gonna lie, I've been paying attention to you, son. I haven't been seeing any soul hearts. Just step it up. Last chance for a sacrifice room here to do something, anything cool. And it is a sacrifice room, but the problem now is that we don't have enough HP to really play it. Unless we get a soul heart or something. That's really the kind of the problem with D Bizzle is uh Gulp. here in this spot is that he's actually taking up hearts. We we can't we can't play it right now. I mean that is the soul of Lazarus there. If we needed to respawn, we could. But at this point it just feels like a it's a lost cause. It's not even like the gambler's fallacy here or a sunk cost fallacy. Like we haven't, it's a, it's a no fallacy. Like we haven't put any in, we haven't had an opportunity to really invest in any, in this play because we've just not had the opportunities to. Certainly don't want to go down to a half heart before fighting Isaac. We find a few more soul hearts or something on the ground. I would definitely consider it. But right now, as of now, we can only tap the sacrifice room four times. That's nowhere near enough. I guess technically five times if you want to consider the rotten heart. The D-Bizzle is actually kind of a counter synergy to this, to this whole play. Especially when he's not paying out with soul hearts. There you go. All right. Got to keep doing that. Keep doing that. We might have ourselves a play here, son. Judas. I don't I don't know what just happened there. Did it looked like Spider-Man froze him? It was like we hit Isaac with the soul of Judas before we hit him. Very that was a very weird pause there. I the reason why I went in like that is because I was trying to intercept the shots that he was about to fire, but he froze before he shot. So I guess maybe the spear tapped him there. I don't know. Didn't really get a whole lot of damage in there with black powder. Go back, get a Yara rune, and uh, yeah, it, it's it, we're already too far far down the road at this point. The sacrifice room gambit officially did not pay off. Would have been cool, but the game decided to go another path, and honestly, that's probably all that we can really expect to happen. We're going to end it here with a Yara rune, non-curse of blind, surprisingly. Able. Dead Sea Scrolls. Leech. Bombs. Bra. Yuck Heart. Ares. Suplex. And Little Chub. Hooray. Good God. All right. Well, thanks for watching this run, everybody. Um, yep. Was uh was hoping that we were gonna get a cooler run than this, but we can't do. Oh wow, tears up! It's very kind of you, game. Thank you.
Oh, these range ups. His Aries is going to give us some movement speed. Health up container. You can actually use the D7 in here to try to get another, try to get an Emperor card. Do that. Let's try that. See if we can get an Emperor card from Sloth here. The Moon card. I don't know if this is going to take us forward or backwards. It took us back. All right. We actually use the D7 for once. Lost soul, buddy. I'm going to say he's probably not going to be that impactful, considering that we're on the uh, the final final stretch here. But oh, lost soul, buddy. Good to see you. We do have BFF, so, I mean, at least you would have protection. A Rainbow Montezuma. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the TM Trainer happening Friday. Gonna be, uh, gonna be one for the ages, I have a feeling. And, uh, you know... Like I said, final thoughts on this run would have been really cool if it uh, if would have would have worked out that way, but unfortunately, it just it just didn't, and uh, that's okay. You know, can't win them all. So thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoy it. Question of the episode today is: Would you ever consider using the wafer or a first for death certificate to try to do the play that we did? Hopefully, don't let this discourage you. Don't let this don't let this run discourage you from making or at least attempting to make cool plays like that. It just so happened the RNG just flat out didn't work out this time. Post them in the comments down below. The top three most upvoted questions will be read on next Wednesday's episode. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you on, well, tomorrow, hopefully, but also on Friday for the TM Trainer Run. And until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the pages of mine like Ulysses, Missy, and Railgun. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta. 